I'll tell you what. You are listening to the Bob Culture Podcast. I'll tell you what. This is the macho man, Randy Savage. And you are listening to my man, Rob. Don't you go away. Turn to the spice. Watch-along episode of the Bob Culture Podcast. Right now, joined by, of course, hashtag wrestlers love Chris Nunez, hashtag the goodest brother. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show, the co-host with the most, Mr. Chris Nunez. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Any any time. And, dude, uh, we're super excited to kind of try this. You know, everyone's kind of staying at home uh, for obvious reasons. You know, we hope everyone's doing well and everyone's yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hope everybody stays strong. Hopefully everybody's doing well, safe, and, and healthy. Yeah, absolutely, man. And uh, right now we're excited to watch one of my favorite matches. You know, I picked this one, Nunez. uh, And thank you again for being my guinea pig in this one. We'll see how it goes. (laughs) um, That's my life. I usually am the guinea pig. (laughs) Stop. No, this is not not true at all. But, uh, of course, so I picked one of my favorite matches uh, where Rey Mysterio won the world title, of course, in the triple. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I I know. Nobody watched this match yet. (laughs) I mean, yeah, you're right, though. But yeah, by now, uh, I hope everyone kind of knows the outcome to this one. If not, <laughs> whoops. But um, of course, uh, the triple threat match at WrestleMania 22, um, just a, a big moment for me. You know, as I, I've you know explained earlier, Ray was the reason I got into wrestling. To see him kind of get to the top of the mountain, uh, you know, capture the brass ring, as they say. Just what a great moment for me. And uh, yeah, very, player. very well deserved. Best fl- high flyer of all time. Beautiful. Well said, man. So, um, to my understanding, we have to, you know, to follow all the rules and regulations and whatnot. And not get sued. And not get sued, which we're trying very hard not to do. But at the same time, <laughs> we, we definitely want to entertain everyone at home. And I think this will be a, our very fun uh, first watch along episode. In fact, Nunes and I are going to record another episode today after this, uh, a match I'm very excited about. So here's how this is going to work, people. We are going to try to make it so you obviously cannot see. This is a podcast, but none of the audio should be in the background the way we're set up. We're trying very, very hard to make that uh, a priority here. We have the audio so we can hear it, so our reactions are appropriate. So please uh, adjust your televisions or gaming consoles or iPads, whatever you have in front of you, to, I guess, a setting where you can hear us nice and uh, perfectly, our, our beautiful commentary as well as the the sound, so you can you got to experience the match with the sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, the way we're gonna do this is go to WrestleMania 22 uh, if you have it, and you're gonna go queued up to where I believe it says POD plays WrestleMania. What's it say, Nunez? At the um, it says that uh, POD performs Booyaka 619 at WrestleMania. There it is. So that's what you're looking for on the network. You're going to queue it up to there. Make sure auto plays off so it can be paused there so we can all start at the same time. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> and, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see. Again, you know, this, technical is, difficulties. this is our first one, but uh, we got some good uh, stories to tell and some good commentary for you guys. And uh, if you're on an iPad or something like that, you want to queue it up at the 2 hour, 46 minute, and what do we say, 43 second mark? Yeah, I have it at 44, so. At 44, so right. It's not going to be perfect. But yeah. uh, so what I'm going to do, don't do it now. This this is the this is the test, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to count it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So I'm going to go three, two, and then we're going to hit it on one, correct? Nunes? Yeah, on one, not after one, on, on one. On one, just just to make it more confusing. So kind of like, imagine Adam Cole going boom. We're going to go three, two, one. Boom, and you're hitting the yeah, play. You, so you get the rhythm. We can just do three, two, boom, then if you want. <laughs> Is it on the one or after? The one? Well, that could be. That by the way, that's a prelude to the next match. So I'm not going to say anymore. Oh, very. Look at this, man. A little foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, this, this, this is why you're here, Nunes. I try, I try. I always try my best. You do, man, and uh, you do a great job. Uh, so let's watch this match, WrestleMania 22, uh, the world title match. I guess we already know the outcome between Rey Mysterio, Kurt Angle, and uh, Randy Orton. You ready to go, Nunez? We're going to hit it on one. Okay, 
I won. All right, let's do this in three, two, one. One. There we go. Okay. Of course, Rob, you can relate to this. The drummer starting it off. Oh, P.O.D., yeah. So I actually played with these guys uh, at the Strand Theater in Lakewood uh, with one of my former bands. And nicest dudes in the world. Not even joking. Uh, Sonny, the lead singer. Um, We got to hang out with them a little bit before we played, after the show. And uh, I remember uh, my bass player, Max, I was breaking down my drum set after the show and I found the POD set list taped to the stage. I gave it to Max. He went back. He got it signed by the whole band. Uh, he oh, got, that's he, awesome. He hung out with them for a little bit. Uh, I'll leave it at that. And, uh, <laughs> and, nice, okay. And uh, they signed the set list for him, and he has it framed in his living room. So really nice guys. They even took one of our CDs. Uh, just a really good experience. So uh, coolest dudes ever. That's And what year was that? Was that before or after this? Well, I'm assuming after. It was after this. I almost asked him about it, too. But, hey, uh, you see Ray popping up there? This outfit that he's wearing, like, when he gets the, um, I guess, what the, was it, the like, a feather uh, head, head, headdress, I think that's called? Yeah, I don't he, even know what it's called. He talked about it. There was actually, like, like it's actually, like, legit, like... Um, they made a figure out of it, too. That's, like, one of the WrestleMania figures that, that they have out with the headdress. Yeah, I think it was something with some tribe or, or something like that. But uh, there he is up top with the band, and I love it when the live bands play at WrestleMania, man, like that. Yeah. No matter who, we saw Joan Jett last year, and I've always wanted to see her live, and she was fantastic. Oh, fantastic. So, so good, man. But, um, yeah, Ray, we were talking about earlier how he, <laughs> who's that jumping up the sky, <laughs> out the sky? <laughs> oh, you, well, I used to love that song, too. Um, but him popping out of the stage, man, I kind of almost missed that in a way. Yeah, I do, too. But um, I think, uh, I guess, you know, he's had a lot of knee oh, reconstruction. So cool. Yeah, dude. Um, now, I, I, I totally forgot um, this is in Chicago. And this was around the time where certain crowds reacted a certain way. That's right. So in this match, they mercifully boo Rey Mysterio. And I, oh, I, when he, I watch this live, I'm not used to that at all. No. Why do you boot? Well, I was gonna say why do you boot Ray, but again, it's a uh, bizarre world a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we know a lot about that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, man, uh, Ray was the reason I got into wrestling. You know, as I've said many times on the show, uh, I you know best friends with Vac from the show since we were four years old, and he would always watch wrestling, and you know I'd play with the action figures with him and stuff. Uh, uh-huh. wrestling buddies from Tonka, all that stuff. But I was never into the product at all. You know, I was one of those people growing up, no, it's fake, it's fake. And, and you know, look at me now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, now we're now we're interviewing wrestlers and, and calling wrestlers. It's it's pretty cool. And uh, Yeah. Oh, I miss this old theme. I actually really love this theme. Would you like to sing it for us? Uh, no, the, the people will turn off right away. <laughs> No, but I, I do miss that. the whole, like, because Randy Orton's cocky, but I miss, like, you know, with the fireworks in the background and him doing the pose at the stage. Yeah. That's so cool. No, nothing you can say. <laughs> uh, fun fact, this is Randy Orton's first of many world title matches at WrestleMania. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Th- this is why uh, you're here, Nunes. 2004, he was with Evolution, and they fought the Rock and Sock Connection. And the year before, he fought The Undertaker in Legend versus Legend Killer. And that was the first year that um, the streak was acknowledged. Oh, right. That yeah. was the first year the streak was acknowledged. Yep, 2005. How, so so how, how, what had the streak been at, at that point? Uh, I want to say it was uh, 11-0, 12-0 maybe. Yeah. I could be wrong. So, I'm pro- I probably am wrong, actually, but um, it's definitely in the double digits at that point. That's crazy, man. I did, I did not yeah. know that. Um, what was I say? Oh, but yeah, going back to me kind of, you know, getting, you know, I, I almost said falling in love with, but for me being kind of obsessed with Rey Mysterio. Uh, I can't blame you, though. It, it was That's in, my fly of all time. Yeah, man. It, it was in college, and uh, Mike and I were in his dorm, and he's watching wrestling, and I'm not really into it, and I'm, I'm sitting on the computer. Sure enough, I see this mass dude uh, flying around the ring, jumping off of cages, uh, doing the springboards. Like, this is not what I thought wrestling was. And I was absolutely blown away. 
Yeah, um, that's the one good thing about wrestling. There's there's different flavors for different people. So there's all different sort types of wrestlers that you can relate to, or uh, their in ring style, their personality. They're, there's not just always the same person. It's always somebody different every match. Uh, that's what I love about wrestling. There's a lot of diversity, a lot of differences. There's something for everybody. Very well said, man. And uh, it's funny how, like, one little thing, you know, has drawn us into this world of uh, sports entertainment and has, uh, I don't know, really just been influential to our journalistic careers and uh, just our our group of friends and family and, uh, you know, probably even the way some of we got some of our haircuts or shaved our face or music we listened to. Oh, I grew out sideburns because of The Rock. When I got older and I could do it, I grew out sideburns because of The Rock. Nice. I love it. And people never understood it, but I was like, I had to do it. And uh, I believe you had also dressed as Jeff Hardy one year for Halloween. I did see the picture. Probably three years in a row. Oh, really? Yeah, it was It was pretty bad. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, I forgot he starts off the match like this. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Um, another fun fact. This was Kurt Angle's last WrestleMania match until he teamed up with Ronda Rousey. In 2018. Is that right? Yeah, this was his last world title match because uh, he left the company in 06, right after, I think it was uh, August of 06, but yeah, yeah, this was his last WrestleMania match until he teamed up with uh, Ronda Rousey. Wow, Nunez. I don't I don't know if you did your homework or you just know this stuff, man. But... Oh, German. Oh, Here we go. Yeah. German suplex, cool. And, uh... Oh, boy. Yeah. Hit him with the soup bowls. <laughs> there it is. Um, oh, here you go. Oh yes! Oh wow! <laughs> One of the first ever uh, what triple or double German suplex, whatever you want to say. Wow, Ray went flying. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. This is already a good match. I like the pace yeah. too. You know, like I, I know a lot of these matches sl- start out slower, but I like this kind of pace and triple threats. Oh, triple man. threats are hard. I, I've I've always I, I've always like because nobody really does it, but when you start the match off before the bell rings. Like when Orton, when Orton hit him with the belt, like that's that's a really cool spot. I've always loved that. Yeah, me too, bro. It's awesome. But I am glad they don't do it all the time because then it takes away from you know it takes away from it. But from being unique, yeah, belly to belly. Angle oh, is just oh. Angle is in top form right here, man. I always enjoyed his matches. Yeah, Angle in his prime, like there was no there was no stopping him. Like the 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 year before uh, at WrestleMania twenty one, it was him and Shawn Michaels, and that's one of the best WrestleMania match, best wrestling matches I've ever seen. Yeah, man. He was in top form. Like, nobody could touch him around this time. Oh. Uh, absolutely. Little uh, Kurt Angle plug right here, but, you know, we did get an interview him, or I got an interview him for Pop Break at the uh, Horror Con last year. Man, that stinks that this one's canceled or postponed, but that's the way the I mean, Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, nice. Hurricane Rana. Oh, I love that, but, uh... Oh! Near, near fall. But, um... Yeah, I got to talk to Angle at uh, the New Jersey Horror Con. Was it la- or was it no? It was I guess October. Was that right? I'm yeah, it was October. Think, yeah. yeah, Boogeyman was there too, and he was cool. But uh, I'm coming th- to get you. I'm, yeah, nice. But I'm thinking there's no way I'm going to get to be able to interview Kurt Angle. You know, my goal was just to have a WWE guy on, and but like the likes of Kurt Angle. I mean, I you know, arguably top ten of all time. I would say. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I spoke to him and his agent at his table and, you know, Rob from Pop. Oh, ankle lock. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, and, damn, uh, our clothesline. And I had said to him, um, you know, do you have a few minutes for an interview, Mr. Angle? You know, I'm representing popbreak.com. And, you know, I'm expecting like a no, I'm under contract like every other, you know, WWE talent at, at the time. You know, it was very tough to get an interview with. And, well, how long of an interview? And I say, uh. I want to oh, say the right nice thing. Kick. Yeah. Oh, man. I love Mr. Mysterio. Always had good kicks, man. And uh, I said, uh, you know, I wanted to say the right thing. You know, how, how long of an interview? And I'm thinking, this this is going to happen. Like, he's going to say yes. And I said, two minutes, Mr. Angle. And he's like, okay. And we had a great interview. And he, he was super nice to me and my father-in-law. And, and just like, I have nothing but good good things to say about that interview. And he was very positive. Uh, you know, as I said, a couple people have, have spun that interview. But everything he said was great. And here it comes. He's dialing it up. Here we go. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot he catches them. Into the ankle. Yeah, again, angles. Oh, and the grapevine. You're right about that. Oh, Orton coming in with the chair here. Now, I, I Ooh, always forget. Did Ray oh, tap? Should... Yeah, he, he, yeah, technically he tapped, yeah. Ooh, so I, that's crazy I, to me. So I always forget 
are all triple threat matches automatically no disqualification or can you because the ref stopped him from bringing the chair into the ring so i'm not sure if it's like one of those things like yeah yeah because i don't remember them i don't remember if they announced it or not it it's just like i for whatever reason yeah that's kind of like the understanding that they are especially i think in the video games too it's that way i could be wrong yeah but if it's a triple threat not that that means anything but boom yeah. And uh, hopefully, um, Ray was supposed to be in Jersey uh, in June. Hopefully, that still happens. If not, hopefully, he does come at a later time. Dream never interview. Met Ray. Yeah, that would be a dream interview. Just a dream meet and greet. I've never. Oh! <laughs> oh, ankle slam to the outside. Yeah, this is a good match, bro. Yeah, this is. Um, yeah, I've never, I've never met. Um, I've never met any of these guys. Oh so. no. Really? No. I got Angle to sign my title, um, and of course, obviously, the interview just meant so much to me, and uh, he had a story for another time, but he had some really nice things to say as well. And uh, I do, oh, what's going on here with Ray? And Ord's tapping now. Yeah. Ray holding uh See, that's interesting to me. Now, I- I'm definitely going to say it's a no DQ at this point. There's a lot of... Uh, I-, I would think so, yeah. It is WrestleMania, so I'm sure they let a lot of things go. Yeah. But it's, yeah, he was hugging uh, Little Nature Boy right there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, springboard leg drop. Dropping the dime. And One, two. No, not, sir. Not going to do it. That's right. But, um, yeah, man, I, I love watching these guys in their prime. Just such such good matches. I can think of so many combos of, like, Ray and Angle and Edge and the Guerreros and all, all and those. And to think, things. Randy Orton was barely into his career at this point he debuted in 2002 so he's not even he's not even he's barely four years in at this point he's already in the world title picture yeah actually already world champion at this point youngest world champion ever that's right here we go oh he's feeling on whoop up from out of nowhere out of nowhere that ankle's hurting him, though. He's selling well, selling well. I like that. Three most dangerous initials in the business. One, okay. two, no, sir. Yeah. So thus far, Orton and Mysterio have both tapped out. Yeah. And uh, Angle straight up kicks out of an RKO. Yeah, dude. I'm not used to seeing Orton without uh, all the tattoos yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. It is, man. It's uh, There's a couple things I remember from this match. Um, and a couple things I don't remember as we're watching back now. I, I didn't remember either of those guys tapping, but again, the rest So did it. you watch this like on pay-per-view live? Like I, I didn't watch it until afterwards. Um, I believe. I, def- I believe I had to have watched it live. Oh, yeah, this is one of the few WrestleManias that I didn't watch with my friends. Oh, so this part breaks my heart. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that that's a hard that's a hard thing to do though. I give him credit for even trying it. I think he's done it in another match. Um, but yeah, it, oh. it broke my heart. He miss, he misses it, and then he just goes for the one, two. That's a wow. That's a crazy pen. Yeah, he. I've seen Mysterio do that one a few times too. But yeah, him missing that six one nine off the pole. You know, you're saving that one for WrestleMania. Like as soon as yeah. it, as soon as he just slipped, like whoop. I was just like ah, you know, that's my guy. But like a true professional, he recovered nicely. Boom, he's fast. Yeah, just just a kick and that again. That pin made it a little bit better than just like a kick and a cover. Because if you notice, not many people bring that up. You know, if it was that bad of a mistake, people would said, "Oh man, remember that match?" But no, he. They recover quickly. That's when you know he's a pro. He yeah. knows what he's doing in there. Absolutely. Yeah, one of the best of all time. No doubt. Orton looking to put it away here. Maybe. Now, this is before he did that DDT off the, the rope. Yeah, he, I didn't. Uh, I, I don't think he started doing it yet. No. Was oh, he... I thought he was going to reverse it in the RKO. I forgot. Okay. Was Orton still doing the cross body at this point? No, I think he stopped doing it. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. But uh, did you think Ray was going to come out with the victory in this one when you watched it for the first time? I kind of, I kind of figured. I mean, the way the the build up and the setup, like it, it's almost like if he didn't win, like who was going to win? Right. You know. But um, I mean, I was rooting for him. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I, except yeah, unless he, you were in he, Chicago, he, he couldn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, mango slam! One, two. And a half. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, obviously, this was the one with the whole Eddie storyline. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very very sad, very tragic. Real, real, but, um, real life events and, you know. But, uh, and I think Ray was okay with it, you know. And oh, he nice counter. Phone. Boom. Dialed up. Get your phones out. Boom. 609. Is this it? Is this it? I think it is. West Coast Pop. Yes. Love it. One, two, three. There it is. And I am losing my mind. A much younger Rob is losing his mind right now. (laughs) Yeah, I was, when I watched this back, I was very, very happy. Even though now the crowd is cheering, but, um, it's it's such a cool moment. It's it's really cool to see when guys win their first world title. Like when you see Shawn Michaels when he gets he drops down like like Ray is right now, very emotional, very understandable. But like when the first time you see Shawn Michaels win the world title, or um, uh, nobody's really coming to mind right now. Even Orton, even though Orton was in Evolution and he was a heel when he first won the world title, like it, it's just really cool and really special, especially on a big stage like this when guys win their first championship. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's a nice thing to watch. Yeah, man. Very well said. And I, I think that's a nice, uh, precursor to the next episode we're going to record today. Oh and, boy. Uh, I don't just, know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> should, should, should we just say what it is? Uh, no, we can, we can keep him guessing. All right. We'll keep him guessing. All right, cool. But, um, there he is, you know, Ray Masiro, that's our guy. And finally just, uh, you know, Making it to the top of the mountain, grabbing that brass ring. Very well deserved. Yeah, totally, man. And he had gone on to win the WWE Championship only for, what, a couple hours? If and he that... did win the world title once more. Who did he win it from again? Remind me. Uh, he beat Jack Swagger in 2010. It was when they still had those fatal four-way pay-per-views. Right. And uh, he won the world title from Jack Swagger. Oh, oh wow. Baby Dominic. Look at Dominic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dude, that um, moment when they hit that double 619, what a moment. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so he won it in the summer of 2010, and then at Money in the Bank, he retained it. But that's Kane. when Kane, Dude, Kane I- cashed it in same night. That's the only time somebody's ever done that, I believe. I- he cashed it on Rey Mysterio. I loved that. uh I love that pay-per-view because Kane is also my guy. So, like, he came out the end, Ray's looking real scared, and I was just like, I'm okay with this because they're both my guys, you know? Oh, nice moment here. Nice moment here. I forgot about this. Yeah. Chavo. Oh, man. Um, Yeah. Before Vicky became, like, super heel. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. And uh, just a nice moment here after all the the tragedy of all these these guys have seen I do miss that belt. I miss I miss the traditional like NWA WCW gold, big gold belt. I think we got tears right here, man. I miss that belt. Oh, too. of course, yeah, yeah. That's for that's for his friend, man. Um, yeah, what a moment. All right, man. I think that's a good place to uh, to wrap it up. Um, and I think this went rather well for for first time on the. I Washington. think so. Hopefully, uh, anyone listening and watching along with us uh, enjoyed it. Uh, such a big moment for me as a professional wrestling fan. And, uh, you know, let us know some of your favorite moments and uh, maybe we'll, we'll get them on here. All right. All right, Nunes. All right. Until next time, uh, we got a good one coming up for you. All right, brother. Be good. Thank you, man. You too. All right.